সমানে দুশুধি আজ আমরা অত্যন্ত আনন্দিত এবং কৃতজ্ঞ যে আমাদের মাঝে উপস্থিত আছেন বন্ধু প্রতিব রাষ্ট্র মালদ্বীপের মহামান্য রাষ্ট্রপতি জনাব ইব্রাহিম মোহাম্মদ সালিফ এবং তার সহধর্মিনী ফার্স্ট লেডি মাদাম ফাজনা আহমেদ জাতির পিতা বঙ্গবন্ধু শেখ মুজিবুর রহমানের জন্ম শতবার্ষিকী ও স্বাধীনতার সুবর্ণ জয়ন্তীর ঐতিহাসিক এ আয়োজনে তাদের জানাই সাদর সম্ভাষণ এবার আমি সবিনয়ে বক্তব্য রাখার জন্য অনুরোধ জানাচ্ছি আজকের অনুষ্ঠানের সম্মানিত অতিথি মালদ্বীপের মহামান্য প্রেসিডেন্ট জনাব ইব্রাহিম মোহাম্মদ সালিকে নাও উইথ ডিপ গ্র্যাটিচিউড আই আমলি রিকোয়েস্ট দি গেস্ট অফ অনার হিজ এক্সেলেন্সি মিস্টার ইব্রাহিম মোহাম্মদ সালি দি অনারেবল প্রেসিডেন্ট অফ দি রিপাবলিক অফ মালদ্বীপ টু ডেলিভার হিজ স্পিচ রহমানুরহিম ইউ এক্সেলেন্সি আব্দুল হামিদ প্রেসিডেন্ট অফ পিপলস রিপাবলিক অফ বাংলাদেশ ইউ এক্সেলেন্সি শেখ হাসিনা প্রাইম মিনিস্টার অফ দ্য পিপলস রিপাবলিক অফ বাংলাদেশ ডিস্টিং গেস্ট লেডিজ এন্ড জেন্টলম্যান আসসালাম আলাইকুম এন্ড Good evening. I am honored to have been invited to this August event commemorating the life and legacy of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman will remain a source of inspiration for many generations to come. Effect- affectionately known as Bangabandhu or friend of Bengal. The first president of Bangladesh is one of the giants of South Asian history whose actions were pivotal in securing an independent destiny for the people of Bangladesh. Throughout his life, he was an uncompromising advocate of democracy and political freedoms. He championed those values often in powerful words that resonated with people from all works of life. His six-point program laid the foundation for Bangladesh's independence and provided the underlying values of the country's constitution. As testament to his skill and his monumental historic standing, his 7th March speech, 7th of March speech, effectively declaring the independence of Bangladesh has been added by UNESCO to the memory of the World Register as Democrat Documentary Heritage. Despite the tragic circumstances of his death, his legacy will not be forgotten. We will always have an honored place in the hearts of those who yearn for democracy and freedom. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate Bangladesh for the remarkable work that has gone into uplifting the lives of people and developing the country. The pace of economic development in Bangladesh has been remarkable. Prudent policies by the leadership of Bangladesh and the hard work of its people is transforming the country into a fast growing and strong economy. I thank you also for all that you and the government of Bangladesh have done for the people of Maldives with respect 
to our formal bilateral engagements and the care and concern you have shown for the resident Maldivian community in Bangladesh. We now live in, a, in extraordinary times with the entire globe confronting the COVID-19 pandemic. The Maldives is grateful for the friendship we enjoy with people of Bangladesh, which has helped us to endure the many challenges that we confront because of the virus. We are immeasurably grateful for the grant assistance of food, personal protective equipment, and medical supplies. Recently, the Bangladeshi government made the extremely generous decision to send a team of healthcare professionals from Bangladeshi Air Force to help build up the Maldives health response. This is in addition to the medical team that visited the Maldives last year. The Maldives is extremely grateful for this decision and acknowledges it is symbolic of the strong relations between two countries. The cooperation between our two countries is extensive. We rely on your support for human resource development in various fields, in particular health and medicines. As low-lying countries in the Indian Ocean, climate change is also an urgent mutual priority for both Maldives and Bangladesh. Every monsoon, every monsoon season, Bangladesh suffers much loss of life because of the flood caused by heavy rainfall. This is a tragic reminder of the consequences of climate change. The Maldives commends Bangladesh for the leading role it plays in the Climate Vulnerable Forum and for its efforts to develop a blue economy, a goal we share in common. We will continue to work together with the government of Bangladesh to address the existential threats posed by climate change. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am confident that the close historic and friendly relations that exist between our two countries will grow from strength to strength. The Maldives, for our part, will always strive to do right by the people of Bangladesh. Today, Bangladesh is compri comprised one of the biggest expatriate workers workforce in Maldives. Their contribution to the socio-economic development of our country is immeasurable. I can assure you that my government has every intention to protect the rights of all the expatriate communities in the Maldives. This is reflected in my government's decision to provide vaccination against COVID-19 to all expatriates living in the country, regardless of nationality or status, free of charge, consistent with our policy throughout the pandemic of not discriminating between citizens and non-citizens in our health response. Before I conclude, I would like to thank the Bangladeshi government for all the excellent programs made on behalf of myself and my delegation and for the warmth and hospitality that has been extended to us. I would like to take this opportunity to invite your excellencies, President Abdul Hamid and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, 
to undertake a visit to the Maldives at an opportune time. Thank you very much.